Right, so um, I, I actually came here to do a bit of social hacking. Um, so uh, the meta project that I'm working on is actually uh, community organizing. It's about uh, Brian Cambot. So for those of you who don't know, uh, there has there have been a number of uh, Christ Camp Boston events in the past. Um, I have not been to any. I'm actually brand new to the city, uh, so I am uh, you know trying to connect with what's going on and um, uh, try to get in touch with some of the uh, Crisis Camp Boston people uh, a number of uh, weeks ago, um, and it, it seems to have um, sort of uh, slumped. Uh, about uh, a year, year and a half ago, was uh, their last uh, major event, which I think was like a random hack of kindness event. Um, and uh, my, my, my real interest with uh, Crisis Camp and what Crisis Commons has been doing is um, uh, just this idea of grassroots disaster preparedness. The fact that uh, we don't have to rely on centralized agencies to you know, come and uh, save us or bail us out when you know disaster strikes. There are things that we can do within our communities uh, to empower ourselves to uh, you know make a difference and uh, uh, you know uh, come back from uh, disaster, whether they be natural or uh, economic in nature. Um, and I, I think a crisis, the crisis camps, uh, you know, a global phenomenon, um, are a, a valuable. Um, so that it's a valuable tool, it's a valuable community. Um, and I'd like to see some continuity uh, in uh, Boston's, uh, you know, crisis camp community and uh, see it embedded more into our local uh, hacker culture. So uh, what I've, I've been doing uh, today is uh, reaching out to some of the uh, old organizers of crisis camp uh, Boston, and uh, you know, trying to figure out you know who has what assets. There is a Twitter account. There's a, a Facebook group. There's a Google group. These are all uh, existing assets that we can all you know uh, connect with, join, reuse. So I'm uh, trying to make sure that you know we can um, you know start as you said, Pablo, um, uh, building uh, a larger network uh, that you know not starting from scratch, but uh, building history um, and building momentum, because uh, you know it, it's great that we have uh, you know this event happening here, and uh, in, in response to uh, Hurricane Sandy. But even better is if uh, we have these events happening on a periodic basis before disasters occur, so we can actually uh, move um, from disaster response to disaster preparedness. Um, and uh, you know, connect with other communities locally within Boston, um, and you know, build infrastructure that you know can be applied globally. You know, um, it, 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 it's a beautiful thing that's happening. That you know, there are all these crisis camps happening at the same time. And hello, everybody. Um, and I think that uh, uh, you know, fostering these communities and uh, building leadership and uh, you know. Uh, working with the Crisis Commons uh, uh, nonprofit and uh, you know uh, organizing these events is an extremely valuable thing. And if we sort of embed it into the culture of uh, each city's um, just rhythm, uh, I, I think it can become an even more powerful thing than it is today. So uh, my next step I'm going to you know keep coordinating with you know, uh, Pablo and some of the other organizers of today's local event and uh, the organizers of past events and uh, see if we get the next right crisis camp organized uh, you know within the next few weeks um, and uh, get that out to you guys and uh, you know figure out how we can keep the momentum going. Hmm. Does anybody in the room, I don't really recognize any of the faces, but I was at the random hacks event that they did the last one, I guess. Yeah. Was anybody actually at that? These are all new people. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, so I mean, it's, essentially this is, this is kind of like starting from scratch. Yeah. Um, and uh, we don't have to do that. You know, we, we can build on, I, I think it's like three or four years of local history and uh, keep on keep on building forward. Hmm. 
And then, and then the other thing is that I believe there is a random hack the next coming in December. So perhaps that's another opportunity to yeah. you know, early December, I believe. It's on the, the website. Oh, it is. Okay. I didn't know. So, uh, I, I would, I mean, I'm uh, going back to the whiteboard because in the in the link where we, it's our Etherpad from Boston, the bit.ly slash HH Boston, there I was listing, uh, I mean, there are listed the five projects we, uh, we are, we've we been working here and also um, the links to the different list serves that are set up. So one is the one of the... Um, Boston Crisis Camps that is being working that the, that's what uh, Lear was talking about. Uh, oh, oh, another one is the Crisis Commons uh, lead serve. So it's what the people that are coordinating the different camps. So they were also pointing uh, here. And the other is the Hurricane Hackers, which is like uh, more of the people here were part of this uh, network, which just started like a week ago and is more like. A hacker community around this is just quite uh, quite new, and this also has a list serve. I think uh, there are like different. The Boston one it should be like Boston coordinating. The Hurricane Hacker is more about hacking, and and the Crisis Commons is like more the global coordination about this. But uh, so everybody is uh, welcome to join any of this of this list. Uh, I think maybe to wrap up, maybe we can spend some time just trying to uh, put this information out there in a, in some post so to try to gather I think all of you have been writing some things in the etherpad so maybe I can give you access or just post these things in the we're posting in, in this thing in red the blog dot uh, .com. there we, we will be updating so we have already Denise uh, has already updated some uh, uh, posts from the projects as they were at 3 p.m. Now things has changed, so maybe we have to update some things. But the idea is not the etherpads are great for working, uh, but our, our blog post is good for making a better outreach of the project, no? so to take the information out there. So, so thank you very much for 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 working here the other day. We it was the first time I was uh, like uh, coordinating such an event, so I've been I also learned a lot. What things we have worked, what things. Hasn't, <laughs> but it's been a pleasure to organize with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I <laughs>